it's a night and day difference between this team this year and last year. This is a completely different team. Take him to Detroit. No! No, not Detroit! No! No, please! Anything but that! No! The Detroit Pistons are on the rise. Never learned, dear. Everybody feast your eyes on this poor soul right here. This is the face of regret, foolishness, and indigestion. And this is the hair of a man that practices social distancing from a barber. Please stop. Please. I thought I'd make a video how I normally do. But this isn't normal. There's nothing about this situation is normal. I try to live a nice, peaceful life. I try to do unto others as I would like done unto me. I try to be a law-abiding citizen. But the Pistons won't let me. How have we lost 10 games in a row? Why does this keep happening? Are we going to really... <laughs> Are we about to go into a third to fourth year of bottom feeding? After everything I've done, after everything I've said, I thought that this would be a coming of age thing. I'm doing good with this channel. And then at the same time, the Ch Detroit Pistons are rising. So it's like we could rise together, both you and I. But you refuse. You absolutely refuse to be great. Stop turning the ball over. When you make eggs sunny side up, do you just turn it over for no reason? Just to, well, let me flip it. It's not the same thing anymore. You are now stylizing the egg into something that it wasn't originally supposed to be in your mind. But you just think, let me turn it over just because that. that's, that's exactly how the Pistons play basketball. For no reason. And you know what else gets done for no reason out of nowhere on a whim? Just because? Just do it? Nike? Not playing defense. Take a look at this play. Watch this. Watch this play. 100 seconds to go. Uh, nobody decided to guard Evan Mobley. Yeah, that's not the way you do it. <laughs> what the hell just happened? Where is the anything? Where's the common sense? Where's the good and decency in this world? What happened to the game I love? Oh my God. How does that happen? There's no way. There's no way. And that play is being shopped around. People are looking at it. People are hee hee and ha ha at our expense because we are sorry. And you know when the beginning of the season started and the Grizzlies were just rolling, just falling off a cliff. I was like, man, they're missing so many different people. Baba Yaga isn't there. It's just, it's, I mean, I'd, I'd hate to be them, but thank God we're not them. And we're worse than them. Why are there so many injuries? Why are we missing so many people? It's making something that's bad worse. There's no excuses to be had here. When we had most of everyone that mattered, we still weren't doing too good. That game against the Trailblazers, that's, that, that frustrated me. That frustrated so many different cells in my body because we were dominating them the entire game until about the end of the third quarter and then into the fourth where we just gave it away. We were like, we don't want to win. I don't know how a team can get so high on themselves after being shit for years and because you were dominating them by about 20 points. Oh, <laughs> yeah, we're, we're like, yeah, guys. Look. No, no, you can't do that. No, we're not allowed to do that. We got to at least get a championship before we can do that. No, and we threw that game away. We threw about one or two other games away that we should have won. And when I look down the schedule, we've got the worst schedule in the season in the league because adam silver has it out for us we go one game from playing the bucks to the 76ers then we got to play lakers 
what what is that what what no stop i look down up and down the schedule i could just pick all the games we're not gonna win not gonna win that one not gonna win that one not gonna win that one we can't even beat the people who we're supposed to be better than we can't beat anybody we can't even beat ourselves I don't know what's going to happen. Are we still rebuilding? They said, we're not rebuilding. We're restoring. We're rebuilding. Shut up. I don't want to hear that. You've been rebuilding for years now. Went through my mind just a little bit, regretting that we got Kate. I was like, oh no. Why is this happening? I'm not supposed to be thinking like this. But then I see Tyrese Halliburton over here doing, <laughs> he's doing so great. And maybe... Stuff just here is just not good. It's so bad that if Cade were somewhere else, he would be playing better. But I see him turn the ball over sometimes, and I just look at him like, whoa, you didn't have to make that pass right there. What are you doing? My grandmother who watches basketball don't even know about the intricacies and nuances of the game. She'd be looking at him and say, I mean, he's good and all, but he just turned the ball. He keep losing the ball to other team. I was like, I don't know. I don't know why he's doing it. Monty Williams over here still playing games with Ivy coming off the bench, but you've got Killian Hayes out there. Get him out of here. I told you what to do about this man. I told you what to do with him. Take the team to the Detroit Zoo and you lose Killian Hayes on purpose and you lose Joe Harris. Or you go out into an open prairie somewhere in the United States, just go in an open swath of wildness and then just say, go, go be free. And lock the door and drive away in the opposite direction. Leave them to their own devices. Do not come back here. I can't stand players that get so into their head. They just don't know how to operate or do anything. And it's like, put the ball in the fucking hoop. It's not that. Didn't, like, stop it. Stop. Stop. They may, They mess up one time. And they just can't get over themselves. Enough. Why, how do these people function in real life? If you get curbed by a girl, are you just celibate for the rest of your life? That's how they play basketball. They're, they're virgins when it comes to getting the ball into the hoop. It, it's just bad. And when they're out there, they're just a net negative to the team. They don't do anything. I can't take much more. I can't stand it. There are people who leave the comments. The, the, you, you, you guys are laughing at my expense. You get comedy out of this? This fulfills you with joy? No, I'm in pain. I'm suffering. <laughs> you guys are supposed to be helping me. I'm supposed to be like, oh, poor Dynamo. No, we're here for you. No, it's 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 jokes. Ooh. You would never know the Detroit Pistons have ever won a championship in their franchise's history with the way we get talked about, with how badly we get shat upon by the NBA community. Poverty franchise, but we've had three. And then the guy who's talking, his has zero. I've said this numerous times before. I will keep saying it again. I don't care how many of you think you deserve a championship or your team or your city. No, until the day your city goes bankrupt, until the day your city goes an extensive period of time without a mayor, and until the day your city has a dog infestation, only then can you approach me with championship aspirations and say that your team deserves one just as much as us. Only then. Do you know what it's like to have a dog infestation in your city? Do you know how many breed of dog I was chased by at the end of school every day? Doberman one day, Rottweiler the next. Didn't succeed and run away from him either. The one time in my life I sagged my pants trying to be like everybody else because, oh, they've got swag and you don't have any. I did it once. I got my ass bit. Never did it again. That's Detroit Pistons' fault. Everything. No. No, it's not. This is all James Harden's fault. Because once he went to the Clippers, this losing, this unmitigated losing started. I don't care. I refuse to accept any accountability. I'm so hurt. I'm so broken. I'm so out of sorts. If we keep losing, we're on pace to lose as badly as we did last year. 
And some of you were over here saying, oh, they're not even going to make, they're barely going to make the play. And if they make the play and they're going to get eliminated. <laughs> Do you know how good that would be for us? Making the play in is like the Super Bowl for us. That would be amazing. I don't have high aspirations for the Pistons. I'm not asking for finals and stuff. All I want is for us to not be the worst team in NBA or the second or the third or the fourth. That's not asking a lot. <laughs> I'm just, I just want that. Can I have that, please? Could you give that to me, Monty Williams? The general manager to Gores, the Tom Gore and all that. Just give me a Christmas present by not being the worst team in the NBA. Because this season looks like it's lost already. Because we're going to be playing catch up and everybody's injured, everybody's out. People come back and then the rotation is all screwed to high heaven. And then we got Kevin Knox. We're signing him again. Oh my God. Oh God. <laughs> Let me end this video. This isn't right. This isn't fair. I don't like this. I, I can't. I, 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 I. Bye bye.